The year is 2022 and Pro Tools has now just caught up with the rest of the DAW manufacturers. They call you slow. How dare you call me that? I want to talk about what that means with Melodyne and tuning vocals and why this is actually much better than the other integrations that are happening with other DAWs and the fact that Pro Tools is in every studio in the world and you're just really not going to find Cubase in every studio. So let's get into why you need to learn this, why you need to know it and what it can do for your vocals in Pro Tools and your workflow. Radium pow. First off, I'm Bradley Denniston. If you haven't been to the channel before, this is all about music production, audio engineering, mixing, mastering tips, plugins. And then what we're going to be talking about today is Melodyne ARA2 compatibility and integration actually directly into Pro Tools, how this all works. Uh, but before I get into it, you guys got to just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're into music production, you want to build a music business. I have a ton of master classes as well that you can click the link in the description and check out over 150 hours of me showing you stuff that I've learned over 27 years. That's a lot of damage. Now let's get right into the meatballs. So I'm in Pro Tools here. I got a little, uh, I bounced out some stems from a song I've been working on. And I got some background vocals. I got the lead vocal with no tuning whatsoever. And I have the instrumental track. Now you'll notice these are bounced out as stereo vocals. Yes, you are correct. Good job. These are stems. Uh, they have effects and stuff on them. They have widening, all that good stuff. So I kept them stereo. So I'm just going to play a little bit of this track for you to show you what we're going to be working on. And then I'm going to break open the new features of Melodyne here. So you'll notice that the vocal, the lead vocal is a little bit pitchy, right? It's because I was singing through auto-tune. Give me a little credit, okay? I know what I'm doing. All right, so if you want to turn on Melodyne now, all you got to do is go to the flex little, uh, you know, this little guy here. I don't know, flex time, pitch, whatever. And then you're going to go to Melodyne. Now, if you don't have Melodyne installed on your computer already, it will pop up a little dialogue saying, hey, you got to authorize Melodyne. You got to install it, etc." Um, I know that the new Pro Tools package 22.9, I think we're on here. Yeah, let's check it out. Uh, 2002.9, okay? If you're in studio, it's built in. If you're in like the beginner Pro Tools, I don't think you get this stuff. Uh, but you do get the ARA2 uh, functions, which means real-time stuff. Melodyne is just directly built in. You can just see it right here. I'm just going to make this window bigger. I'm going to say close on this. It's giving you a quick start guide, but right away, ARA2, what it does is automatically detects all the pitches and spits it out. It's, you don't have to capture like you used to in Melodyne, which is super dope. It's going to change the game for workflow in, in Pro Tools. For me personally, hopefully it does for you as well. Now there's a couple things you can do here. First thing is when I go to Melodyne over here, it's going to initiate it for the whole track, okay? So you're gonna see that when we uh, do that, we're gonna get that Melodyne window, right? For the whole track. Also for your clips, if you wanted to, let's say, let's turn this off on here. Let's say none, right? Cause we're not doing any algorithm, stretching, pitching, anything. And let's say I wanted to just do it to a phrase because I think a lot of the times, that's important, right? So I want to do this phrase by phrase. I'm going to hit B. I'm going to make this a clip on its own. I'm going to right click. And then you can just go down to Melodyne and go to edit. And that's going to open up the Melodyne edit window. It automatically, again, this is the best part about ARA2. Hopefully you're getting this. It's all in, in just like directly right away access. Okay. So it's like automatic random access or something is what ARA stands for. It's going to detect the scale. This is saying B major blues, which is not correct. This is basically A major. All you have to do in Melodyne is just go up here and say, you know what? Actually, this is A major. A major. And then that'll 
will show you the correct scale. You can do everything that you can always do in Melodyne. So all of the same features, the same way you navigate the regular Melodyne is the same way you ma navigate this window. So for example, I'm holding down Option Command and I'm gonna get my uh, magnifying glass, right? And then you can go up here to all your tools and you can select the hand tool and all that. You can right click in here, just like any Melodyne, move things around with the hand tool zoom in zoom out etc with the uh magnifying glass important note for you guys if you own the essential melodynes you're not going to have access to let's say like note division and uh note you know divider tool and all that stuff so note separation tool sorry uh you're not gonna have access to some of these things that i have access to because i have the full melodyne uh studio editor or whatever so just a little note for you when you're like dude but mine doesn't do that it doesn't show that but the cool thing about the integration is, is that it automatically opens that up if you do have that package of Melodyne. So it reads your license and it gives you exactly what you have of Melodyne built into Pro Tools. Uh, one thing a lot of people like to do in Melodyne is, let's just say, scroll out, grab the selector tool, select all the notes, and then go to the macro up here of the pitch. And we'll just go pitch center 100%. I don't usually do 100% pitch drift because that's really robotic. And then you could also say snap to chord scale, which is A major. Uh, we'll see if this does any good, but um, I'm gonna hit okay. That's just gonna automatically tune it and we'll see what it came out with. Sunday morning never hurt this bad. Sunday morning never hurt this bad. Okay, so it's trying. It's got some uh, some notes in there that it's kind of pulling in the wrong direction and all that good stuff. Uh, but just like any Melodyne, you can undo everything by right-clicking on the notes and say, restore original pitch, right? Um, let's say just pitch centers. So you can see, okay, this is actually going, nah, 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 wah, wah, wah. it's going down the scale. You can go in and you can do all the fun stuff that you want to do. I would say right away, like what I'm noticing is it's not as snappy. Um, so like, as I'm scrolling, this is like kind of weird. It's like, ugh, I'm using the scroll wheel pretty hard and it's just not scrolling really fast, but this is working smoothly. This is nice. Um, so just some things I'm noticing right away that are kind of weird. Also, I'm noticing that this is giving me some uh, different stuff up here, which is polyphony. Um, what you can do is go to the algorithm and make sure that you don't have polyphonic on. So you can see it automatically recognize it as polyphonic, but this is actually just like a melodic phrase. This is singing, right? So we'll say redetect just to give it an opportunity to check that out. And it's pretty quick, like monophonic dete detection on this. That was pretty quick. I would say kind of snappy. So this is looking more like a vocal to me, right? Now, uh, it did give me the A major scale, which is awesome. Let's try that again. Let's go up here and let's give it a pitch center. Let's hit okay. And now let's check this out. Let's just see what it did automatically. So you'll notice right away, you have to still give it some love, right? Go to the algorithm, make sure you're in melodic or polyphonic if you're doing chords, right? monophonic if you're doing a melody line with vocals just make sure you're in the right thing or else the algorithm is going to be all weird Sunday morning never hurt this bad. much better uh now for melodyne users if you use melodyne a lot you already know what you're going to do with this right right click you're going to have your separation tool you're going to separate the notes that are coming back down to different notes uh you can double click on any of these that'll the lock in the pitch center you can use these little tails to smooth out edits and pitch pitch drift right so i do that all the time it's like a fade tool basically um so like if you go to the end of any of the phrases the blobs you can make these transitions smoother or tighter so if you want it to go bleh, bleh, really fast or if you want it to bleh, if you want to drifty <laughs> you're gonna live with me now go in and just really smooth out this performance however you want to smooth it out but the best part about this is it's built in now you got a really cool view of melodyne right here and you can also see in the actual window here you can see there's like little blobs and you can see there's a also a little icon in the corner that says hey this is being tuned um, but you can see also that this one does not have that because we did this by right clicking on that and going down to Melodyne. You can do it by the whole track. You can also have the Melodyne edits follow. So let's say you do a chorus and then you want to drag it over, option, drag it over, and you can see the Melodyne follows it. Awesome. 
I don't know. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, another thing that I love about having Melodyne just built in, uh, let's say you you have Splice, right? Um, you got Splice and you find a loop maybe that you like that's like really dope that could fit into your song, but there's like one note that's kind of weird or, uh, you know, something's kind of off and you want to change it, the polyphony of it. Um, you can go in and change that with Melodyne. Now, obviously, you need the higher version of Melodyne. You need the editor, I believe, or studio. Melodyne's built in, remember, right? So if I'm producing in, in Pro Tools, this could be a really cool game changer as well. Um, so what I would do here is go to the chord progression. And let's zoom in a little bit so you can really see that. Now let's just solo this. All right, cool. Let's say you had a song that was like really close to that. It had like it was in the same key or maybe it wasn't even in the same key, which is really dope. Uh, what we can do here is just go to the stretch again and we'll go to Melodyne and this will detect it, everything right away. Not waiting. We're not capturing. We're not doing any of that shit because it's ARA too. Remember, now we have all the chords here. And again, remember, you have to go to the algorithm and make sure that it got what you wanted. And this is right. Polyphony, Decay, or Sustain is going to work great for this because they're chords, polyphony, more than one note at a time. So now I can see everything within the chord. That's awesome. That's super powerful. And now I can take my uh, my note pitch and say we're in A major. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it detected the, the key or anything here, but let's grab this and let's just start moving notes around, right? So maybe we want to change the melody. We can take that up there and then we can try this. Okay, and then if you double click, it'll center up the note as well, right? So see that? So cool. So now I'm going to play this back and you're going to have that pitched differently, those certain notes. Awesome way to make beats in... Pro Tools. And that's something that I think is very, very useful. Having built in Melodyne means that you could take chord progressions. You could take a guitar player you're working with. They send you something and you're like, that's dope, but I want to make it my own. And I want to make my own melody out of your guitar and, and screw it up and resample it and make it kind of sound dope and uh, fresh for like a modern trap beat. Done. Like that shit's, I mean, that's so tight for me. Like, I think that's going to be a big game changer. And the fact that Pro Tools is so good with audio, audio editing, tuning, offline bouncing, offline processing for vocal lining and all that, like just your workflow is just going to be insane with this. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Is this cool? Is this like way too late? Dollar, you know, short day late sort of vibe? Or is this something that you're going to use all the time in Pro Tools? I'm personally super hyped on this. I do a lot of mixing and mastering and just like having this ability to keep Melodyne on all the time and be able to just like pitch a vocal real quick and then like do the editing and Melodyning together rather than waiting for it to be a step in the process. Yes. All right, you guys subscribe to the channel, show love, share the show if you got something out of it and I'll see you next time. Radium Powell, I'm out of here.